Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Geopolitical Simulator or Power and Revolution 2019 Israel. So 34, God, I am tripping over my own words. Uh, last episode, we got our election going. We got some pretty good campaign promises. We didn't get military authorization to go to Nambia, but no one voted on it. So that's pretty much their like neutral to the stances and we don't give a fuck. So we'll be hitting that shortly after the uh, campaign is over. I do want to point out that all episodes now are on a schedule. Uh, they will be available one week prior to release on Patreon, so make sure you, you know, sign up for that. You can get access to all my episodes earlier than their YouTube release. So this episode will be available on Friday on YouTube, but if you subscribe now, you can watch it right away. So with that being said, and my uh, lovely political, please be sure if you're also new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and smack that subscribe button right in the face. Also, be sure to like, send me a comment, a shout, anything. I love it all. Even if it's a negative comment, I am open to uh, constructive criticism. Except for the parts where they say, hey, fuck you, you suck. Well, I guess that's constructive criticism too. We can all like what we do, but I love what I do, so that's that. Anywho, back to the game. I'm holding the mouse button up and trying to hold the thing up while scrolling the thing. Not working that well. All right. So I do want to um, make some more campaign promises. So far, we're in the lead, according to our our poll right here. So see our popularity. We got 40. We're at 92% with the people. We have nine rallies. So we're we're pretty up there. We have a really good shot at winning this. But it depends on the actual... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? The debates. Because much like our own, if you read the polls, you know, Biden's up in the polls. But when it comes to the debates, I think Trump is just going to completely slaughter the guy. So it'll be pretty funny to watch. I don't know, man. These things are all full of... It, it, it's funny to watch and it's sad at the same time. <laughs> I know Biden has a problem with numbers. I get that. That'd be like Trump asking him, excuse me, Mr. Biden, yes, what's one plus one? Well, you see, that's a trick question. <laughs> like, not if you know math, no. Oh, but wait, I forgot. According to a uh, woke white lady I saw on YouTube, who she actually was not white, uh, apparently math is now racist. So, you speak out against anything, you're a racist. So I find that pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like one plus one equals two. You're racist! How dare you? That is politically incorrect. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting like way off track here. Okay, uh, education, education. Um, we do need backup classes. I know that. So, uh, and definitely more student accommodation. So let's go ahead and make a couple promises for that. Well, performance hall, you know, been some, it's been some nice money. All right, so God, I hope I don't overshoot the election. All right, education and student, student accommodation. There you are. Let's go ahead and bump that up all the way. Everything else is like kind of like I could tinker with later. All right, let's hit play on that. Candidates. So let's see. Did that bump my pop? Oh yeah, look at that. Eighty. I don't think I need to make any more campaign promises. We're we're pretty high up there. <laughs> it's gonna cost sixty-eight billion dollars, but we can definitely afford it, especially since we got a nice uh, surplus of uh, hundred and twenty billion dollars. Speaking of which, um, I have not been even checking the inflation 0.9%. That's fine. Kind of like, yeah, so I can leave that right there. Interest rates at 2%, which is good because that lowered our domestic price. So now we could actually sell shit that, um, how's our debt looking? That went up a little bit. 
But with this much of a surplus, we should be able to pay everything off pretty damn easily. I mean, I almost got close. I, I got so close, but I don't know why these guys like keep on fucking borrowing shit. I just... No, oh, can, can we change... Our... Good. Uh, 0.84 is not bad. That's like pretty much next to paying nothing on it. When is our next? We have a budget excess, okay, of 118 billion. Public debt is 4.69 billion. Surplus percent of the GDP is 3.2. We have a 3.2 budget surplus, which is good. Bargain concluded. Oh, Congo. Okay, we got a spy in the Congo. Cyber attack on our party. Prime Minister, the party service have been under attack since early this morning. That's all I can tell you right now. I'll get back to you all. Our Most of the demonstrators arrested have been released. That's fine. All right. Let's see if we can get some more money out of this guy. Sure. I'd be. You're. Yes. Uh, you're definitely the most rich and most generous. What post would you propose for me? Change the subject. Yes. It's. A okay. Thank you. A Thomas rover for space exploration. Yeah, sure. We'll publish that one out. Why not? Our governmental cell. Waste. Ooh, Secret Service. That's right. We haven't. Oh shit. Hey, what happened? There we go. Crap! I haven't been fucking paying attention to that at all. Probably gonna miss it now. Going. You drop out of sure. the race. I'd... You're... I'm sorry, but we still. Alright. Gonna go me against the communist, I guess. Ooh, nice. Alright, cool. Another six million dollars. Very good. Make some more campaign promises. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with. We have no dilapidated housing. And build 14,000 houses. So let's make that a campaign promise. Ooh, we'll go with this part. Eh, yeah, we'll keep it right here. <laughs> Housing. Jesus Christ, fifty five billion for three programs? just published this latest survey providing the ranking of the three best performed camp in order the percentages of both intentions grant our party the victory then come Yari Sonovich and Deborah Kosier's party okay so pretty much it looks like we're, we're on the path to winning okay well that didn't bump it up but maybe 80 is the highest it could go I guess I don't know 80 is still pretty good. It's 80%, I guess, if it's measured in percentage. Uh, 
Now, don't you think you have enjoyed traveling with my bad leg and my erythematis, but as I said, I said enough is enough, I've gotta go and give that twerp a piece of my mind. But I'm telling you, face to face, it's not very nice to suck your pockets like that. How do you see how folks are living? Uh, okay, so, basically lower my shit again. Uh, do, 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 modify government salary. Here, what if I just give myself 50000 huh? I'll make it a big announcement. Hey, everyone, I'm lowering my fucking salary. Here you go. There. Oh, uh, when is the election? Uh oh, 79. Yeah. Congressional elections on the 7th. How about justice? What if I build more prisons? Back up to 80. Oh, my program is going to cost 74 billion dollars. Oh my god, this guy two negative 261 billion. Oh god, I'm gonna fucking destroy our economy, or would that give us a surplus? I don't. I guess that would give us a surplus of 200 uh, I don't know, I guess. I guess what, that's what that means. If it's a negative, they're going to give us a budget surplus. I have a budget surplus. Need another one? Alrighty, come on, come on, come on. Cyber attack on our party. Everyone's in center attack again. Operation. One of my men succeeded in the. Good. Look at my campaign statement's getting negative. Oh, there you go. That very good thing. The Nobel Prize was Hannah Jen, who always supported her policy. The famous fist is evidently useful of joy. Oh, good. See, that brought me back up. Uh oh, is he getting away? Is he leading us in the polls? Uh oh, he is. That's not good. Alright, what can I what can I do to bounce back? How about sports? Oh, sports are pretty good. How about culture. Alright. Put some shit towards culture then. Pain. Program. Servant. Here, what if I give everybody a raise? Oh, that's right, I can only do one at a time. Damn it. Here, yeah, what if I give teachers a nice big salary bump?
many do I have? I've got like. Oh, I've maxed it out. Under strike. Ahead of us a little bit. It's true that the blow cannot really be described. Oh, good. They dismantled it a little bit. Well, I guess whether I win or lose, we'll just keep going anyway. And hindsight doesn't really matter. The end goal will still... Do a biological disaster and... It's not good. Alright, here we go. I think it's time for the elections, almost. Have I not read? Okay. Close that out. I believe it's on the four special intro. Daniel Kurgo assassinated by government mole. Uh. Okay. Guessing I okayed that like, somewhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, everybody. Slow the fuck down. Yeah, I know he's in first place. Good evening. The highly anticipated debate will begin in a few moments' time. The candidates are ready. Naturally, we will ensure that they are given equal speaking time. This will be closely monitored. We have also set up a new instant polling system to gauge viewers' reactions to the candidates' arguments and, in some ways, define the winner of the debate. Let's get to the first part of the program. Underway now. The candidates... We'll take it in turns to comment on various issues of importance to our fellow citizens. So, what's your opinion on the matter? Environment. Oh, there's not much I can do for the environment. I built a shitload of these. And waste all my surplus. The environmental safeguard, the transition towards a green economy, energy change, preservation of biodiversity. Yes, ecology will be at the heart of my priorities. Thank you. And moving on, what would you like to say about this? That noise pollution. The environmental safeguard, the transition towards a green economy, energy change, preservation of biodiversity. Yes, ecology will be at the heart of my priorities. Fucking copycat Thank communist. Thank you. Let's move on to another issue. So, what's your opinion on the matter? The competitiveness of our businesses 
is the key to our growth and therefore key to our country's employment and wealth situation. I will take responsibility for this and ensure we win the battle. Very well. Coming over to you, where do you stand on this? Anything you want to add? Yes, I do. Fuck, I can't remember what it was. Purchasing power drives economic growth because consumption stimulates demand and this creates investment. Our fellow citizens will soon be back spending money in the shopping malls because I guarantee they will have the money to do so. Thank you. It's now time for the second part of the program Fuck, where the candidates will be able to ask each other questions directly. Well, I would like some clarification on this matter, which you've bandied about, in my opinion, throughout the campaign. Research is our economy's last hope. We must again and again promote innovation in order to win market shares. This is what our international competitors are doing, and this is what I will do through an ambitious public policy. Well, let's see, where can I hit them hard? Uh, I, put, I, I would put like to hear out. you talk about this subject, as I feel you've been quite vague as to where you stand. It is essential in a society where the demand for health care is constantly increasing to ensure access to quality health services. I can assure you that I will mobilize the necessary means to guarantee this fundamental right. Thank you. We are now coming to the end of the debate. I would like to ask both candidates to wrap up now and perhaps share one final promise with us. All right, so, so far we're in the lead. Education literacy eight. National education must oh, not be analyzed fuck. under the prism of spending, but as an investment in the future. It is the knowledge of our youth of today that will allow the takeoff of our growth tomorrow. To these ends, my policy will be a major focus of my term. Uh, shit. It is essential to maintain and develop, cost what it may, the living Aha! conditions of our young people. By restoring confidence to them, we set all the country in motion. The youth will be at the center of my political project. Thank you once again to both of you for the clean Ooh. and fair debate. Well, I beat them, but barely. And to all our valued viewers, barely, mind you. I hope this has helped you gain a greater perspective on our candidates. Good evening. Our instant polling system has designated a winner. Good evening. Prime Minister of the latest polls, face to face program, according to the most reading, you and Sir are pretty much neck and neck. I don't know, Cyprus, ooh. Here are the GDP and growth. Oh, don't worry, that's our campaign promise. Alright, let's see who comes out on top. Elections begin tomorrow morning, some. 
day after tomorrow. Oh, there we go. Good evening. The majority of votes have been counted. Take a look at this. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, damn. Well, I lost, but shit, I guess we got to continue now as a communist. Well, fuck berries. Oh, we have strong suspicion. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year. I missed our final figure participation rate at 56% exercise or only 56% voted? I don't wonder why I lost. Good morning. Well, I accept this. Um, hmm. Are you trying to sell me tobacco? But oh, my consumption fucking already. My production's already. Oh, refuse. <laughs> I don't need more. Uh, yes, fine. Wait, the fuck? Legislatively, you have not been confirmed. Okay. Oh, crap. Now I gotta. F oh, shit. Oh. I tried. <laughs> um. What am I, a terrorist group now or something? I'm an opposition party. Oh, now we've transformed into an opposition party. All right, well, this is a new turn. Damn, just when I was gonna fucking take Zimbabwe too. But we gotta, we gotta beat the communist out then. Run the party illegally. <laughs> well, all right then. Um, I'm going to end the episode here. This is taking a very interesting twist. So now we got to see if we can actually retake control of the country. So we have now become... Well, I mean, we're still a legitimate party, but this is uh, this is getting interesting. I'm actually kind of glad this turned out because now we're in a a uh, new perspective. So I've never seen this kind of part. So laws in progress, law history. What what party am I belonging to? United Zionist National Group. Where are we at in the... We, we do have the ruling power. We have the majority in the parliament. Or no, we don't. So this guy does. They got the majority right now. Maybe we can set up meetings with some of these guys. Yes. All right. Let me let me set up some meetings with maybe some of these uh, their right, rightist. You right, the conservative right. I guess we kind of like have to wait for this guy to fuck up and then
and make the country a living hell for him. No laws being voted on. Can't count on any of these guys, that's for damn sure. They all hate me. Well, the ecologists like me. I think that's it. <laughs> Everybody else pretty much hates my ass. We do not agree with your pro We do not ag We do not agree with your proposal. Sure. I'd be happy. Yes. No, honest. It's a little disappointing. I was expecting something else. Never mind. Ah. Uh, damn you. Wow, okay. I'm going to end this in episode right here. This is going to be uh, very interesting to try and get my popularity back up from this guy. So, I'll make a blunder. I'm pretty damn sure he will. Or I can run it as an illegal organization and just, you know, throw a coup d'etat and say, it's mine! But, maybe. Maybe not. I'll think about it. At any rate, uh, quite the unexpected twist, but thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as I enjoy making it. Please be sure to smash that like button in the face, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe out there and stay sweaty.